kidding, this is a really upbeat video, yeah! <sighs> so hi, I'm Danny Padilla, and uh, this might have been misleadingly a sad video, but I wanted to change things up. You know why? Because I'm tired of sad things. I'm not, but like, just right now, I'm just n upbeat. You wanna know how informal this video is? I'm wearing PJs, PJ pants. Get PJs going. Also, I have a hole in it right in my crotch area, right here. You, hopefully, you can't see my crotch. What I wanted to say, what did I want to say? I wanted to say, okay, okay. So if you watch my YouTube videos religiously, you probably have a good idea of the fact that I don't know what kind of content I'm making. Ow, I just hit myself the nuts. Whether or not it's covers, impersonation videos, which everyone wants, I totally get it. Vlogs with other people, vlogs by myself, getting real serious, crying on the camera. I. I do it all the time. Ugh, I'm so freaking confused in my head. Honestly, it's like, well, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. But then I took a second, I sat down, and I kind of was just like, okay, Danny, what are you trying to do here? The question I asked myself was, are there problems that exist in this world, and how can I help solve them? It's a very big question, and honestly, the only way that I was able to figure that out is by realizing what kind of problems do I have, what am I struggling with, and then maybe other people on the internet are also struggling with that same exact problem, and maybe I can help because I'm positive. One thing that I I've noticed um, just a lot on the internet is that I know a lot of people, especially fans of mine, who are really struggling with depression, anxiety, suicidal tendencies, all these kinds of things that are really, you know, that hurt my soul. I want to help everyone out there. And one way that I can do that is by getting rid of the freaking illusion that I am perfect. Because the one thing I'm like not scared of is like not seeming perfect. Because honestly, like, I don't want anyone to think that I'm a perfect human being. I don't want anyone to be like, oh my gosh, Danny, there are no flaws with you. You have zero flaws. You're so attractive. You're so, your hair is beautiful. You're body, your, you know, everything is so great. Instead, I want everyone to think, oh my gosh, Danny, you're the most relatable human being because of all your flaws, you're so perfectly imperfect, so cheesy. I don't want people to be like, you know what, he's a good role model. He embraces his insecurities and uh, doesn't let them define him too much. You want to know what I'm insecure about? I'm insecure about all these things. Ready? Cue list of things that I'm insecure about that I'm going to make up on the spot. Cool. I'm insecure about my skin. That's a huge thing. You can't really tell right now, um, but like, I've been struggling with acne for like eight years. I'm insecure about my weight. I've always wanted to be in shape, but I have never worked hard enough to actually get in shape. I just want to be hot and sexy with a six pack. <sighs> Everyone's life. Side note, I'm also insecure about the fact that my ribs stick out of the side of my body. That's a nipple. Free the nipple. Side note on that, girls should be able to show their nipples if they want. There's a double standard there. I'm insecure about my inability to maintain friendships and relationships. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I honestly think that sometimes I feel like people get bored of me really easily. And I'm scared about what that's gonna look like for the future. I'm also insecure about the fact that I'm insecure about my ability to maintain relationships because that's what keeps me from maintaining relationships in the first place, is my insecurity. It's funny how that works, isn't it? I'm insecure about my gray hairs. I have a couple of them. You totally can't see them right now, but I'm insecure about the fact that I might go gray earlier than I want. I'm also really insecure about the fact that I got a small amount of back knee on my shoulder after I started working out a lot. What's that about? I'm really insecure about my ability to make it in the music industry. That's a thing. I'm also really insecure about my work ethic because I don't think I work hard enough to get to be where I want to be. I also definitely play the comparison game way too often. I have too many friends that are successful and sometimes I think that they're more successful than me and it makes me jealous. Especially in the entertainment industry where everything is based around numbers sometimes and a lot of my friends have bigger numbers than I do so I compare to them and I get sad. I'm also weirdly insecure about my unibrow, which you can't see because I shave it, but then the hair grows back and it's like, geez, can't you just go away forever? I'm also too scared to pluck my own hair because the idea of pulling hair out of my body sounds like the worst thing in the world. I'm really insecure about how hairy my feet are. I'm like a hobbit, but like real life. I'm insecure about the fact that my house has a bunch of dog pee stains on the floor because we were bad dog owners, and by we, I mean me, because I never punished my dogs for peeing inside. I'm insecure about my own singing voice. A lot of people praise it, but I don't because I think I could do a lot better. I have a really gnarly fear of severe injury because I'm scared that one day my arm's gonna get cut off and I'm not gonna know what to do with my life because I like playing piano and basketball and guitar and making sandwiches and... I'm really insecure about the fact that I might have to go back to school and get another degree if I want to have a financially viable life. Also, that's a dog. I'm insecure about people hearing me go to the bathroom in public restrooms. Ah, it's just just because the noises are gross, and I don't want people to think of me differently because of how I sound when I <laughs> go to the bathroom. 
I have female trust issues. In relationships, it's hard for me to trust girls because of my past. I have a fear that I'm actually not as smart as I think I am. I'm insecure that any girlfriend I'll have in the future is gonna leave me for a more attractive version of myself who's nicer and has a six pack that's better than my non-existent one. I'm afraid my friends are gonna think I asked too much of them as friends and are not gonna wanna be friends with me because it's a burden. I'm afraid of people on the internet thinking I'm really boring. I'm also weirdly insecure about the fact that sometimes I don't have any snaps on my Snapchat story and then I just think that I'm a huge loser because who doesn't have anything on their story? I'm like decently fearful that my siblings don't think I love them. I'm afraid of bugs, like a lot. I'm insecure about my Christian friends thinking that I'm not Christian enough to be their friend. I'm afraid that my next girlfriend's gonna be really hot and really mean. I'm insecure about the fact that I might be a bad kisser and I just have no idea because no one's told me. That actually sounds freaking awful. I'm afraid of going in for a kiss on someone's mouth and having them turn their face so that I kiss them on the cheek or something and just get really awkwardly rejected and just like... I'm afraid of saying something super not politically correct in front of my very politically correct friends. I'm insecure about my dance skills because I want to look better on the dance floor, but I can't. And dab! I'm insecure about my ability to dab properly. I don't know how to flex my chest muscles. I don't really have any chest muscles, but like, they just don't move. That's not how you flex your chest when you go like this. This is kind of a big one. Um, I'm really insecure about the fact that my personality seems like it's kind of like bipolar because like, sometimes I'm really outgoing and awesome around like, people I don't really know, and then sometimes I freaking don't know how to talk to anyone ever. Like, sometimes I just t talk so much, like in this video, but then I can't translate it to like, the real world where I want to like, go talk to strangers in real life and compliment them and hit on them, maybe in a very tasteful way. I bite my nails, like, a lot, and I haven't been able to kick this habit since second grade, so I've been biting my nails for the majority of my life. I have a weird fear of just, like, vomiting on stage while I'm performing. That's, like, a very... Why? That's, like, something that will never happen. But future Danny doesn't know that, though. <laughs> I have a fear of not getting married until I'm, like, 38 years old, which, no offense to anyone who's 38 or older, uh, I have a fear of offending people in my YouTube videos. I have a fear of just like not being able to create enough good content to maintain a YouTube channel. <sighs> so I think that's a few. That's a few. That's definitely a good enough amount. I'm kind of sweating now. I hope you can't tell that. Okay, so, but like, for real though, in my head, this video had a very clear purpose. I wanted to be super real with y'all. I wanted to say literally any possible thing that came to my head just now about what I'm insecure about, what I'm fearful of. I hope you think of me more as a real human. So if anyone wants to be like super incredibly brave, and I'm just thinking of this on the spot right now, if you wanna, okay, leave a comment down below about something you're really insecure about, but then at the end of it say, and I'm super proud of it, in all caps, and I will go and I will like all of those, and we'll share in our insecureness. We've all got a ton to offer this world, and I think that it's just a matter of us embracing it, and really figuring out, because honestly, you're so much happier when you do that, you know? Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. I love you. I hope you love yourself. I hope you love me. I mean, if you don't, we're getting there. Thank you guys so much. I will talk to you later. My name is Danny. Oh, gosh. I, you already know that. Why? Bye. <laughs>